So today we have learned that President Donald Trump and his lawyers have turned over to special counsel Robert Mueller written answers to questions about Russian election interference and questions that are related to the topic of whether the campaign colluded with the Kremlin to sway the 2016 U.S. presidential election. And so we can imagine and infer that Mueller wants to understand uh, to what extent did Trump know about the Russian hacking of Democratic emails? To what extent did Trump have any knowledge that his son was going to be attending a meeting at Trump Tower with a Kremlin-connected lawyer? Those are all questions that cut to the heart of the collusion question that Mueller is trying to answer. We expect that there are going to be more indictments. There's a lot of speculation and buzz in Washington as to who might be next up. We know that there's concern within the White House about President Trump's oldest son, Donald Trump Jr. He, of course, attended and helped organize the Trump Tower meeting, which is very significant because he took that meeting with the expectation of receiving dirt on Hillary Clinton, his father's opponent. We have no indication that he's in, in legal jeopardy, but we do know that the White House is concerned about that. So the, the main question that now arises is whether uh, Special Counsel Mueller would seek a subpoena of President Trump for his testimony in a criminal investigation. And it is possible that Mueller will receive these answers from Trump and want additional information on the collusion question specifically and say he's not satisfied. If that were to happen, it is possible that he might seek a subpoena um, and get try to get Justice Department approval for that.